Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for a special, quick, very quick let's play of The Rhythm Final Fantasy. Guys, this is the new game for the 3DS released by Square Enix. It is a rhythm-based game and it is to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Final Fantasy. One of my favorite series out there for games. Now I already did start a profile on here, um, but I'm going to actually start a new one for the sake of the Let's Play. Alright, so my name on YouTube of course is RPG, so might as well go R or Red Panda Gamer, so might as well just go RPG, not RPD, RPG, not Red Panda Dammer, I don't know, Dancer, Red Panda Dancer. Yes, I will use that name. And yes, I am going with the showing the both screens, even though the bottom screen is... There's really not much on the bottom screen most of the time, but I figured some of you might want to see it. Cosmos and Chaos, two gods who rule over all creation. The space betwixt them is the rhythm. From here was born in the music crystal, which fills the world with harmony. Yet the chaotic forces in the universe wax stronger, disrupting this harmony and dimming the light of the crystal. I don't think wax is the proper word for that. The only thing, uh, the only thing which can now restore the radiance of the crystal is rhythmia. 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 It sounds like another word, but with a lift. The music wavelength filling all space. The hero's melodic journey begins. Hopefully you guys can hear it okay. Since, you know, a big part of this game is the music. Welcome to the Rhythm Final Fantasy. Play through songs from historical Final Fantasy titles for Rhythmia, Rhythmia and restore the crystal's radiant light. As you game Rhythmia, you will be able to unlock more play modes and the many ways in which you can enjoy the world of this game will continue to grow. Sounds good to me. There are three play modes you can choose in the game. Touch one to read its brief description. Well, we're just going to play music play, so we're not going to worry about the rest of them. We'll get into the rest of the stuff as it becomes more relevant. Um, to start, start by selecting four party members from among the 13 characters available in Edit Party. You can, of course, change your party at any time in the game. Your party members gain experience points by playing in music play. The leader gets a bit more experience than other party members. Once a character's experience exceeds a threshold, a set threshold, they level up. So leveling up increases their... Okay, this is pretty much standard RPG style. Um, so we're going to pick our characters. Um... For my leader, I'm going to pick the character from my favorite Final Fantasy game. I'm going to pick Zidane, since Final Fantasy IX really is, well, technically Titus is my, you know, I'm just going to pick Titus, since he is, Final Fantasy X is my favorite Final Fantasy, I just wish I could pick Waka. Um, I'm also going to pick Cloud, because I love Final Fantasy VII, who doesn't? I'm going to pick, I would pick Zidane, but I'm playing with Zidane on my other file, so I'd like to pick some new characters. So. I did like, even though I'm not a fan of Final Fantasy XIII, I did like Cloud, uh, Lightning, so I guess I'll pick her, and I'll pick um, the hero from, or warrior I guess he's called, the warrior from Final Fantasy I, just to try and get some characters I haven't played with yet. So now we can go to the equip screen. Um, the equip, it's kind of interesting in this game you can equip people with different um, stuff. Not that it really matters that much, but... I'll just show you through it. Equipping characters, you can give them items, um, you can also set abilities, and items can only be used once, which most people already know that. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit, just to make sure you guys can hear it. Alright, so Titus already has cheer, and I don't believe, oh yeah, you can give him a, no, no you can't. See, you have CP, it's a limit on how much stuff you can equip, and we have too much CP already, so, er, we're already filled, so go to the next party member, Cloud, already has strength and up, 5 out of 5 is used, 7 out of 10 is used, um, 4 out of, yeah, you can't even give him anything, so can't really equip anyone with anything, not till later in the game, but as far as I've played, it really hasn't made much of a difference, so 
I'm up. Why not? Or focus. No choice. So, we're done. And we're gonna start this shindig off. The game consists in three modes. Series, Challenge, and Chaos Shrine. Keep playing each and level up your characters. So, for this series, we're mostly gonna... We're gonna do all series first, by game. Um, and then later I'll get into challenge modes. So, for now, we're only gonna do this. So now we have this tutorial, which I'll run through for the sake of the Let's Play, but in this game you will touch, slide, or hold your stylus on the touch screen, in time to the music. Press start to pause the game, of course. The Rhythm Final Fantasy consists of three music stages. Here is what you can find in each. BMS, FMS, and EMS. First come BMS, which triggers will run across the screen from left to right, perfect to your timing to hit each right on your mark. Uh, okay, so we're just going to go through this. So you have touch triggers, which are tap, a slide trigger, which you have to slide in a direction, and hold triggers, which you have to hold from one side to from one to another. So we're going to try some BMS. BMS is probably the easiest one. So this is basically basically a battle. Pretty easy. I just love the art style of this game, to be honest. That's like my favorite part of this whole game, is the art style. You will find you want characters with high strength and magic for BMS. Each monster defeated ups your chance of getting an item. A boss might get you a rare item. Because so you won't always necessarily beat um, all the enemies. I'll move on. So like I said, I've already been playing this game, so I pretty much know all of these. Uh, we're going to try some FMS, which you'll see in a minute are pretty cool. So basically the biggest difference between BMS and FMS are the fact that you have a slider. So that makes it a little more challenging, but for me it also has more flow than the BMS. The BMS feels a little more abrupt. And event music stages. Um, these ones are okay. I'm not too crazy about them, um, but you'll see how. This training isn't really a good indicator of what it really is. When you actually are playing it, you'll see a little um, FMV going on right there. You'll see the videos from the game. Move on. Uh, and there's also silver triggers, which we'll see that start special things. You have an HP gauge, so if you screw up, you'll actually take damage, and your characters can die. They show a chart that shows how good you're doing, and shows basically it tracks your progress and how well you do in the level. Okay, so we also have opening and ending themes, which basically allow you to go to the rhythm of the opening music and let you get some free Rhythmia points, which I'll definitely be doing because it is a really good source of points. So here we have access to all the different Final Fantasy games um, from 1 to 13. Of course, not including, um, what are those things called? Not spin, no spin-offs or anything like that, um, just all the originals, the normals. The only, there are a few you guys may not be familiar with, but we'll talk about those more when we get to them. So we'll start off with the original Final Fantasy from 1987. I really do like this game. So, this is the opening theme. And as you can see, we have that little counter down in the corner there. That's actually how many Rhythm Mia points we're getting for this. You don't have to do this, but it'd be kind of dumb to skip it, because this is free Rhythmia, and when you get Rhythmia, you unlock a lot of different stuff. No score for this, just bonus. Most of them are easy, but this one's a little difficult. But we got 49, so that later we'll get to ones that give you like pff, 150. But I also didn't do all that great on that one, because I'm not very good at the fast ones. Alright, so now we're going to do the main theme. Come on now, we shout faithfully to protect. So all your different characters will make up a little sentence up there based on their behavior. Alright, so here's the first real song in the game.
And these are the silver triggers I mentioned, they mentioned earlier. And they actually turn you into a chocobo in this mode, so you run faster. And as long as you get them, you continue to be a chocobo. Until it ends. But it, it always ends, so... And then if you do well enough, the Moogle will give you an item. But we got a perfect chain, so that's a pretty good start to this, huh? Perfect? Right off the bat? Pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So we get an S, 112 critical, 5 great, and nothing worse than that. So, really good. <laughs> really good first one. Uh, I'm going to run through the rest of these. And yeah, you gain experience. So I'm pretty sure... Oh, no one level up. Okay. But everyone will probably level up next time. And we get a collect card. So we gain some Rhythmia for chain bonuses, tactical bonuses, and actually if you play with all guys or all girls, you get a male or female bonus, which I found kind of strange, but oh well. So we received 100 RM, a new light shines in the crystal, and a new song has been added to the music player. Sweet. We achieved a first perfect chain! We got a trophy. What is this, Sony? Sweet. Good start, guys. Good start. All right, so next up is our first battle. My friends, we take off a Lufli. I missed the last one. All right, so let's see how this battle goes. Let's try and get another perfect here. Haha. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the coolest thing ever. You actually get a summon if you do the battle ones right. This time we summoned Ifrit, which is pretty cool. Hellfire! Here's the final boss. Oh, I missed two. I, I was checking to see if I missed one and screwed me up. I did miss one. That sucks. Didn't beat him, but oh well. He's pretty diff- the, the, the bosses are pretty often the hardest ones to beat. But we did pretty well. We screwed up twice. Everything else is pretty much critical. Yeah, 92, critical, 14, great, too good, and too bad. So we didn't even miss any, technically, but bads break chains. Oh, well. I'm just happy I got to show you guys the critical. Uh, the summons are pretty cool. So we level up, and to be honest, I'm not really sure what leveling up does. I'm pretty sure you don't really notice the effects until you do more, but it's hard to say. So we get another 110 Rhythmia to 139. Sweet. So, let's go now to the opening theme. The opening theme. The opening theme. Now these are pretty cool. You might want to keep your attention up here to watch a little montage of the game.
And now if you get all of those ones on this one, you unlock an extended version of the song. So you get to play a bit longer than you would if you screwed this up. So yeah, it's like it's like probably 10 more extra notes, but you know, it's what you get. It's a pretty interesting bonus, I'd say. <laughs> Sorry if my camera goes out of focus every now and then, guys. Alright, so we got an A. We only had one bad, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, who? I don't know. No one's perfect. Pretty sure Hannah Montana made a song about it. So everyone's probably going to level up now. Warrior of Light leveled up. Lightning leveled up. Yay! I love the animation of this game, too. That's like one of my favorite things. So we found a high potion. So as I said, you know, as you go, the better you do, the more items you get, or the better the items you get, I should say. So 115, and I think there's a benchmark for 300. Nope, guess not. I think the next ben benchmark is 500, actually. I just don't really remember. Alright, so we get to hear the end theme now, and we get to do this. Okay, so that's the end theme. Hopefully you guys are watching and looking at all the backgrounds, because I think they look really pretty. And I hope you're enjoying the music. So yeah, we scored an 84. So we get to find out our total ranking, which is an SSAA. And we got an S rank, so that's pretty sweet. Haha, <laughs> S for sweet. Alright, so perfect chain and clears. I'm pretty happy with that. I would have liked to gotten all perfect, but oh well. So we scored 537. Oh, yep, see? You've reached 500 RM. A new light shrine shines in the crystal, and a new movie has been added to the theater. Thanks to you clearing this whole course, these songs from Final Fantasy will now be available for you to play in challenge mode. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to return to series. We're not going to go to um, challenge mode till the end of all this, and then I'll re-upload up upload new videos that show off challenge mode. But guys, that's all for this first episode of The Rhythm Final Fantasy. I hope you enjoyed it, and in the next episode, we're going to be heading over to Final Fantasy 2 to play a bunch of music you guys have probably never heard before, since Final Fantasy 2 was never really uh, released in America other than, some, uh, P than a PS1 game and a Game Boy Advance game. But anyways, guys, I'm Red Panda Gamer. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out a lot. Favorite this video and share it with your buddies. And hopefully you guys go out and get this game, because I really like it a lot. And I'll be sure to show you some more next time on The Rhythm Final Fantasy. Thanks for watching. Bye.